were talking about Telltale games oh, yeah. and everything. Yeah, uh, give me this. Yeah. <laughs> Something about Telltale that uh, kind of broke it for me mm. was I played the first one. Um, series uh, one. What's that, Walking Dead? Walking Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. sorry. I played the first uh, Walking Dead game. Yeah. That game has one very easy decision mm. in the third. It mm. is, you have to, you're in a drugstore, and you have to save one of two people. I remember this. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, Glenn yeah. or Trish or some fucking thing. Yeah. And I'm a hormonal teenager. I didn't care that she had a gun and he had nothing. I was like, look, she's a chick. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. So I let <laughs> him... Like with the dick. Yeah, nice. <laughs> with the deer. So I, um, I let him die horribly. I watched. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then I had a look at the stats. Mm-hmm. So at the every at the end of every season of pretty much all oh yeah Telltale they games, do the like the wrap stats, up the yeah wrap up yeah stats. it shows you like who did what like seventy to seventy five percent chose her yeah it was so unbalanced to the point where Telltale actually had to change the way they introduced characters and the way they set up people so that wouldn't happen again. So that wouldn't ruin the illusion of um, storytelling. Yeah. Which then got me thinking, all right, I'll have to look at the other stats. Yeah. They're all like 65, 55, 51, you know, 51, 49, right. and whatever. And you're just like, okay, I see. Mm. Fair enough. Mm. And then you go and you play them a second time. Yeah. The same characters die <laughs> in the same spots, except they might die slightly different. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, if the same events happen, but yeah. like there might be a slight different quick time event, but like it's still someone still gets their head caved in. Yeah, like there's one for example. Uh, I've only finished the season one, uh, season two once, mm. and in it, someone gets bitten. Right. So they get... How oh, so they get bitten? Someone's gonna die. Yeah. In The Walking Dead, if you die, you will turn. Fact. Everyone's infected. Oh my god, spoilers. Spoilers for <laughs> the, the, the 10-year-old comic, fucking 8-year-old show. <laughs> Which um, I've never watched, by the way, uh, but I have no intention. You're not missing out much, it's fine. It's just kind of like Whee. every season's like season one with a palette swap. They're Dude. always trying to go somewhere better, and then it's fucked up, so they... <laughs> get a bunch of people killed and they leave that spot and they go and find somewhere better Rinse get a bunch repeat. of few people killed and, and go and find they find some new people along the way cool yeah spoilers <laughs> um, in the second season you someone's gonna die so you have two choices let them turn or cave someone or cave their head in mm. okay so the daughter's either gonna hate you for caving their head in or getting them killed in the first place she's gonna hate you yeah and so she's going to kill another member of your of your survivor group right these are things that are gonna happen you have yeah. a look at them and you're like I gotta kill this person I gotta do it because if I don't kill them they're gonna turn and kill everyone else yeah and you're like oh fuck the daughter hates me now god damn it <laughs> now she's gonna go to us. but then you go to the one where you don't kill him and she's like well you're the reason he died in the first place so it's and the same. you had to kill him I'm pretty sure you end up killing him anyway afterwards <laughs> and so she kills one of the survivors anyway and you're like what the fuck so fucking there is no there is no, there's no choice there yeah. is no choice it's it's another it's the illusion, the illusion. of choice oh. I have only ever played um, the wolf among us once yeah I approve of that game. Yeah, I, I did enjoy that one. Didn't? No, I did. You did. But, like, they're easy to enjoy if you get invested in the characters. Hey, look, the fucking video cut out. Yeah, <laughs> Soz, we... Oh, sorry, we, meaning him, forgot to set the timer again. I did, I broke it. You Did you set the timer this time? Mm, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Luckily, someone did. <laughs> Um, one of us remembers. So what the fuck are we talking about? Telltale. Telltale. So versus... Telltale versus the, uh, specifically The Wolf Among Us. Mm -hmm. We're getting into another subject very shortly. Yeah. So the Telltale um, Wolf Among Us series mm. I'm is, swimming. you mentioned a very good point of you delved into the characters. Yeah. There's some stages in uh, The Walking Dead, mm. I didn't like anyone. Yeah. I liked, like Lee and Clementine. Those are the only people yeah. I liked. Yeah, I remember like that. That's why when I had to make choices in that, like, it's... Oh, it's people around a muck outside. Oh, uh, it's a purge. 
Don't joke. <laughs> yeah, the, the pubs have just opened up back here. Oh, right. Yeah, no, they've just opened up. I went to the bottle shop because yeah. I'm not an alcoholic. Fuck you. I don't go to the meetings. <laughs> um, and yeah, I saw people at like six o'clock at night getting into the pub. Like nice. waiting to get in. You're like, dude, come on, man. Nice. Just get drunk at home like I do. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what were we talking about? Uh, fucking yeah. So I guess yeah. Yeah. If, like, more, uh, yeah. if you if the story is good, then you the don't tell- give a shit. Yeah, yeah. They are a tell to tell. Mm-hmm. Tell nice. to tell. Nice. Tell to tell. <laughs> tell to tell. Oh, by the way, I misspoke earlier. It was still season one. It was just episode two. Um, yeah. So I misspoke. So, so so what's the difference between like say like a, a cage game versus like a a, t- a telltale game? I think the difference is in a lot of Telltale games, you actually only have A or B. It's because of yeah, that wrap up sort of they'll thing. They'll make it look like there's C and D, but they're still there's just still A and B. B. Yeah. Even sometimes they they're just like fuck it, you've got A or B, pick one. Yeah, yeah. There's one. It is usually yeah, one. That's one usually the other, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah. the wrap ups are hugely based on A, um, A or B. Yeah. Um, whereas. David Cage, in one specific instance, I'm going to choose Detroit Become Human. Mm. There's a scene where people are going to die in the hallway. Mm. As Connor, even though it doesn't have that much impact because they have another Connor anyway, mm. um, you it does impact your relationship with other characters and how they view um, your species as a whole. Yeah. Uh, but there is four different options. You know, you can take the guy out, you can do nothing... There is an option just to fucking do nothing. Yeah, which does have like consequences. And yeah, stuff. it's actually a couple like, times. Yeah, it's a couple times that game uh, tells you to do nothing, or um, you know, you can sacrifice yourself, mm. which is three huge decisions. But two of them, I'm pretty sure, get you killed. Yeah, but there's still you know three different decisions. There's even some subtle decisions in that game. Yeah, yeah. Where if you don't play your cards beforehand, like the girls at the strip club. Yeah, the yeah. the prostitutes. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the prosy wazzies. The prosy <laughs> That's not a real that's thing. That's the technical term. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's Latin. Um, where you... The way you talk to them, even in the final confrontation, the way you fight them and everything can get one of them killed. Yeah. If you get one of them killed, the other one's more likely to kill themselves. Yeah, cause yeah. Because they are in love, because robots feel love. <laughs> you heartless monster, what's wrong with you? Why would you think anything else? Are a you are a monster. Whoa. And you are dead. Uh, I'm alright. <laughs> you're just a spinny boy. Um, <laughs> yeah. 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 So it, it's even some decisions I think in David Cage that you make. Yeah. Even though they're more branching, they're just some of them are just more subtle. Yeah. No. No. I will. I'd. I'd say that he probably does it better. I don't think he does do it. Yeah, yeah. I think I think uh, Telltale is a really good place to start. Telltale's Walking Dead season one is the first mm. decision based game I ever made, and I did mm. enjoy it a lot. But going from that to playing Heavy Rain, my mind was just absolutely blown. Yeah. It was insane. It was a good time. I do like Heavy Rain. I think I do like um, how dark he is as well. Did you ever play um, Beyond Two Souls? I started. I didn't get into it. That. Wasn't it game. not very good? <laughs> yeah, it depends what you like. Depends if you like Ellen Page or not. I uh, had a very... I have a problem with Ellen Page. But, <laughs> but uh, it's just... Yeah, I don't know. I, that um, game's weird. I uh, made all the wrong decisions. In my story, Ellen Page had like the worst childhood ever. <laughs> like, she nearly got raped. Like, it was... It was like you... Were, you, you got to... You had a choice to stay at a bar or to leave. Mm. And it's just like, you should leave the bar. And I'm like, no, nah, wait five more minutes for my friends to rock up. No, I used to leave the bar. No, I play pool with his Just random guys. Just tell me guys. how to live my life I'm game. A, I'm a 19 year old girl. <laughs> no, I'll play pool with random strange guys where there's no one else there and the bartender's best match with them. It'll be fine. There's no problem here. Yeah, that game did a really cool mechanic of um, you had, it was obviously story based and yeah. everything. But because uh, it's, it, you go from, you know, let's. These aren't the actual times. I'm mm. just going to. You go from 1998 to 2001. Or you go from, you know, 16 to 19 yeah and then your next level you're you're five and the next level you're 25 and yeah. it actually like staggers it which yeah, yeah you had that same reaction that i yeah. did when i felt I was like f- f- just give me the story <laughs> you can't actually choose that you can't well, actually just well, go well timeline. why don't we just have our stories start at the beginning you know yeah, just... not not where they get interesting <laughs> <laughs> i'll watch you out of my house yeah. <laughs> um, um yeah 
But then you go, you really have to, with that, the thing I found about that is you have to put yourself in the situation that you're currently in. Mm. And you just have to be like, okay, what would I do? What is my choice that I want to do here right now with the information that I have? Yeah. You don't have this preconception of, oh, this is some video games too, even when you're role playing tabletop, you're like, well, I know this thing. Yeah. And a, a way before, like, you know, five years ago. Yeah. But it just happened. Now I'm playing it. It was two hours ago. So I remember that. Mm. But in the game, you're like, oh, I didn't know that happened yet. <laughs> so you, um, genuinely have to put yourself in a position of this is what I would do yeah yeah well I mean to me like they're the best when a, when a game can make you feel like that like well this is what I would do then like, I feel like you're immersed properly like, yeah yeah 100% I mean like again like it's probably even more so if it's like a character you've created and you're like you know you're living out a fantasy in it then you're gonna be more likely to do things that suit the character that you're playing I guess like yeah. what would this character do that I've made or what would I do like, yeah. if you're making them like yourself like I whereas yeah. I, not to say like that's the only way or anything so yeah. like obviously the witch is amazing and the choices it gives yeah, you are amazing yeah, yeah. but like if you can't relate to the witcher yeah, then like I see what you're, you're not gonna like like you're, you're living your choice is going to be based on like His what character. the Witcher yeah, can do, what, not like what, what, what you would do. do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have found myself sitting there like, well, this is the Witcher's code, so this is what you should do. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's fine. It's yeah. still like it's still giving you choice and stuff. Yep. Some people might decide to be a dickhead Witcher. I don't know, yeah. but like, yeah, um, it's just different. That's all. I agree. Ah! I mean, one thing that I have a question for you. Yes. I have come across this, especially in Skyrim. Mm. Do you feel like because you are a don't speak and you you know you're and technically not technically but re, you, you're pretty much nameless yeah do you feel like that you're the puts, prisoner yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's your bitch yeah. do you feel like that actually gives you a certain distance in, in games and you're like well this doesn't actually really matter yeah like that that sort of there's a there's a element of depth where you can't actually hear your character's voice or, or yeah. a voice of your own yeah 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 and you're like I don't it's a bit of a what's the word like a separation like it's sort of yeah it, it's sort of separating you from yeah. it a little bit like yeah, yeah it's th- I mean that's why I was kind of talking about like the voice voiced or non-voiced it's yeah. like there's there's pros and cons to both uh, you know if it's voiced then it's easier to kind of immerse in some ways like a it feels more fleshed out and realistic or, you or might something. You hate his voice. Yeah, but, but then it's like, it's cutting the other side, which is like, uh, you know, the... What's the word? Like, fucking give me options to be whoever you want. Like, uh, immediately. So, I mean, that's the difference between uh, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 4. Let's yeah. use all three, right? Sure. Just a quick. So, like... Update. <laughs> yeah. On a... The old game. two, Fallout Three and Fallout Four have very similar things. You start in a vault. Um, uh, you're actually born in the vault in three, oh. and you come out of the vault and uh, go in your life. So people have beef with both of those games because already your backstory is written. You yeah. are a vault dweller. You so Fallout Four it's even worse because you're a specific person. You're like you, you... have a voice. You had a job, like if you go the male character, you were in the, you military. Were in the military. If you, was, you were yeah. a nurse or a teacher or something. I haven't played like a female character enough on that. No, I've never played one. But um, I'm a misogynist. But I'm not. I swear. Like, Internet, don't lose your shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, he's done it now. I, I, I love women. Women are top. Believe me. <laughs> so like my, yeah, like so that's some people's beef is like all right so you're already and it's even worse than four because you you have a wife already you have a kid yeah and yeah. you can't change that like your backstory is well you, you can it's just kind of <laughs> fucked up yeah but like <laughs> my point is like it's your 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 story is very set that regardless you're a father and you're a husband yeah. and You've like already you lived this. here and he did this mm-hmm. right yeah, it's Whereas, a predisposition. Yeah, yeah. Whereas New Vegas, it's like uh, the New only Vegas. the only thing that you know about yourself is your courier. Yeah, that's it. 
Yeah. Your right. backstory is very like uh, up to you, really. It's really? like you don't get to pick it or anything, but it's just left grey for you to fill in the blanks because it's in, like is in mentally or in the game. Uh, it's it's just left like out, like it's kind of just it's like nobody you're... ever mentions it. Well, I think you could probably dive in, but it's more just you make your own backstory. It doesn't really matter. Like it's like you, you're making a blank slate. It's like the only thing is that you're a courier. That's, yeah, that's it. It's like you can be whatever kind of courier you want. You're a courier that became a mercenary, or you're a fucking courier that grown up in a hellhole and yeah. like, is a raider, or you're a courier that fucking. Whereas like four, you can't even be a bad person in four. Yeah, it's like you really can't. And it, it, even if you could, right? Even if they gave you the option, it wouldn't. Again, we'd fall back on something we haven't talked about that we were meant to talk about. Yeah, which is the ludo narrative dissonance, right? That Separ- big old fucking word. <laughs> Separation between the character and the story. Ludo right? narrative. No, no. Dissonance. So it's yeah, l- ludo narrative dissonance. So it's like smart with two teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like where the the gameplay like the free when, when the player has control the actions don't make sense within the story and the mm. cutscene character right yeah so even if you could be a raider in Fallout 4 it, it doesn't fucking make sense because you're a loving husband or wife that yeah. has a kid and they're all lovey dovey at the beginning yeah, you, you and mean. like it's like it would be really strange for you to then be like I'm the serial killer yeah it's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like what we're doing right now with Michael yeah yeah Michael Santa <laughs> he's a sort of or, mission yeah he's on uh, a mission to fuck shit up today um so like people had beef with that and like I'm it's cool that they tried to go a different way where they were like giving it a bit more narrative and a bit more like cinematic in a way but as a result less player choice I, saying, I think you actually did a one sentence review that was really good you said what was it Fallout Light yeah well it's 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 just it's Fallout different it's just like uh, I don't know it's like Fallout Fallout New Vegas a lot of people say is the best it's not necessarily my favourite but I see why people say that for yeah. for role playing purposes it does most things right um, so like Fallout 4 is more like in the same way that when we're talking about like older GTAs or newer GTAs like um, Fallout 4 is more like GTA 5 Whereas it's like, it's kind of going for like a Hollywood-esque kind of big story. And, you know, there's big very, big very game. uncharted-y kind of like missions and cutscenes. It's very roller coaster You're just taking on a ride when, yeah. you're, in, when you're in the missions. Swift right? away. Versus New Vegas, where it's like, there's none of that pretty cutscenes or anything. And it's very blank slate and you do what the fuck you want. Like yeah, that kind of that kind of feels like the old GTA's in a way where it was um, just a fucking yep, you're a dude. There's some stuff to do. Unfortunately, only one of them has Ron Perlman in it. <laughs> was that was that? Uh, New Vegas Four, I think. No, New Vegas. I was it? Four didn't have Ron Perlman. No, I can't remember. Man. I don't know. Ron Pel- Hellboy was in one of them. Yeah, yeah. It might be New Vegas actually. I don't know. Have a fight in the comments about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! But yeah, like it's just um, yeah, it's like when they try to go more story and more cinematic and more cutscenes and stuff, it seems to kill the player choice and freedom yeah. as a result. Uh, and like, that's, I guess the kind of point that I'm trying to make in this, this podcast is like, can you, can you make a game that has both of those that feels cohesive? Like, can you, can you have your own way? Yeah. Can have you have your, that yeah. Sweet you away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you have the level of detail that say a GTA might have in its story and cutscenes the level of like fucking polish but have like New Vegas's level of uh, freedom and choice and yeah. like role playing I don't know if you can the only, I want to see it the only <laughs> thing that, the closest thing mm, <laughs> yeah the, there's always like there's always ex- a thing I was gonna yeah, say <laughs> there's metro, a sticking point. I was gonna say Metro Exodus where there's all these small, fine, unique things that... Mi- minute, sorry. Yeah. You can check your weapons if you don't clean them enough. They seize up. The barrels, mm. the clip sizes actually look different in the guns and everything. But you are 
a very set character who has yeah, a girlfriend and you're who on is a, pregnant and you, who is on this train and you're on a linear like fucking you have like five missions but they all last yeah. about two hours each. oh no two hours about four or five hours each Oopsie. so this is what we call Ludo Linear <laughs> what's this? Dissonance. it's Ludo Narrative Ludo dissonance. Narrative that yeah Mike, Michael going on a rampage and killing a bunch of people despite being a somewhat like reserved Reformed. like uh Bank robber. Like, All I want to do is just what is it? That's not Michael's voice. <laughs> All I want to do is what is it? Smoke a cigar and listen to some good music or some shit, and then he goes and shoots some people in the face. <laughs> yeah, it just yeah. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense for the character. That's why they made Trevor because Trevor's the first Grand Theft Auto character that Who actually plays, makes sense. Yeah, because if you murder a bunch of people, kill a bunch of hookers, do a bunch of stuff. Uh, that's perfectly within Trevor's character. Yeah, like, that makes that's, sense. He yeah, would do that. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think... Um, so, it's not necessarily that he's a good character or that he's a well-rounded out character, but it just suits what the game... Type. Yeah, well, it suits all of the options that Grand Theft Auto gives you as a player, like, compiled into one person is, yeah, is, is, is Trevor. Trevor. And while that may be a very ugly thing, then maybe you should take a look at yourself and stop being such an ugly player. <laughs> look, listen here. If Trevor represents you, yeah. that's on you. Yeah, not exactly. He's just feeding I off mean, your fire. But in saying that, right, mm. if this if this game did it really well, right? So they got three characters. Why didn't they make this more like you could play this whole game without killing someone? Or without yeah. committing a crime? Yeah. Or like something like that. Like, if, if I could play this whole game as Franklin and actually get out of, like, uh, gang violence and call, stuff like that... What they, they're doing, like, of Compton. <laughs> um, then, like, just get a legitimate job mm. and, like, make it make something of himself yeah. without doing anything bad, then that'd be sick. It would fit his character. It would, like... Uh, I mean, it would suck for gameplay. Yeah, but, like, it'd be a cool option, like, doing say, a no-kill no, no run of something. Yeah, or, but like, then again players would have in, in this sort of scenario players would have the option of being a f- psychopathic Frank yeah that's it who it's gives purely, in and goes into the gang violence side of it it's purely choice yeah. yeah well that's it and then they could tie that in more it's like maybe you get a special fucking cutscene or something because you you were a good boy or you got a special cutscene because you were a bad boy <laughs> like, yeah, bad boy I um, no I agree I would personally if it come, when it comes to things like GTA and everything Wee. I wouldn't take GTA's 5's route of um three characters yeah yeah it, it was kind of cool but I, it was I don't a nice know if I'm um, it's hard to flesh out three main characters as well as one like and have good like arc and Lin- like yeah linearly oh, help me out here in a linear sense yeah they did a good job the characters are who they are they had their backstories yeah. and they had their motivations that's good there was but- some good like drama and tension between them and stuff like I like the Spoilers again. You finished GTA Five, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Like the whole like unraveling of Michael's like uh, yeah, treachery yeah, yeah. and stuff, and that then really good, Trevor like kind of tiptoeing around it, but slowly wanting to know like what happened, and then eventually getting the shits and going right back to where the game starts and where they all did their yeah, first heist their first and, and digging up the, the body. It's so fucking good. Yeah, like, that is such a good moment. Um, By the way, mm-hmm. Rockstar. Just great graveyard fights, uh, gunfight scenes. There's a gunfight scene in Max Payne 3. Oh, God, that game's good. Oh, Whee! graveyard fight scene. It's very, very similar. To I remember game. that. It's yeah, so yeah, yeah. Damn it's good. so intense as well. Oh, man, it's awesome. Oh, that's um, right. Aren't you, like, visiting the grave of your wife or something? I can't remember. You killed a gang leader's son and you need to get out of town, but the last thing you do is you visit the grave of your wife and child. Yeah, yeah. And then you, you just get the fuck out of Dodge. Good time. But they actually catch you in the cemetery and they're like, wait. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. It's fucking intense. See, that game has... It's not really more of a point. I think <laughs> uh, when it comes to something of an open world game, mm. you can flesh out a smaller area better. Yeah. So let's say you could have... Wait. 50 square metres horizontally. Yeah. Fair enough. But let's say you can only do... Not 50 square metres, let's say, I don't know. 50 square kilometers. Yeah, 50 square kilometers <laughs> uh, horizontally. So you have this huge area that you can play with, but you can only go up 
you know, 500 meters. Right. If you could take that and then make that, I don't know, let's say a, a 10 or 20, mm. but make that 10 or 20 super fleshed out where it becomes this big box of, you can interact with absolutely everything, you know, Oof. you have a higher level you can go to and it's just more compact. Yeah. Instead of stretching out, stretching out and saying, hey, we've got a big map, you can do all the stuff. We don't have the biggest map, fair enough. But every single thing it's you can do, about, you can play with. Yeah, exactly. It's not about the fucking big map. Like, yeah. No one cares. <laughs> yeah, I'm a three. Great. You can fucking play on a big map, but you're not going to see anyone for 40 fucking minutes. I think. I don't know. I've never played it. <laughs> but like, not a very good example if I don't know what the actual fuck I'm talking about. Well, like... I just... It, it just doesn't make sense to me. Having a massive open world with nothing to do in it yeah. is completely pointless. Like, it's just... Unless you want to go for a nice little drive, in which case, kidlings, get your license. And then go <laughs> for a nice little drive. Yeah, but like, even then, that, that gets boring. Like, it's... <sighs> yeah. Drives, man. <laughs> no, but like... I mean, like, not to shit on them too much. I know you don't mind them. But like, Assassin's Creed example yeah. they're really bad for that's going a, like i'm not even mad that's just a good example like here's the biggest fucking map we can possibly make and then then they'll just fill it with filler content yeah like, here's a bunch of errand missions enjoy here's like... one of the really things is like uh oh yeah here's london a city that everybody who knows this plays this game knows yeah. you're gonna be doing conquering territories cool you're just a territory conqueror. You just go to different strongholds and kill people. Which, like, has been done in so many games so many times. Yeah, it's just like... Take hostages. You do the same thing 30 to 40 times in about two hours. Yeah. And then you just... <sighs> I, that was... So, if for those who haven't clicked on, I'm talking about Syndicate. <laughs> that game had such potential. It's a very, very... Not a very, very... It's a good example of open world with a strong starting point yeah gone in the wrong direction yeah I don't think I have heard people who love the game I um, for, uh, Ash did say it before I do like the games uh, I've been playing them I've played them all yeah except for your spin-offs like your Liberty and your, yeah okay yeah. I'm super excited for Valhalla because I know it's probably not going to be very good I don't <laughs> care <laughs> you're still going to play it I'm still going to play it I'm not going to pre-order <laughs> it this time but I'm still going to play it yeah good I'm glad you learned that lesson <laughs> oh dude uh, what's his face Anthem taught me that lesson oh my god <laughs> when a game is out for two months and goes down to $20 you know you messed up I can't remember which stuff. game taught me not to pre-order uh, I think it was Final Fantasy 15 really yeah I'm pretty sure uh, that game weird. fucked me up um yeah like uh, yeah it just small like in saying that like the smaller maps kind of annoyed me on um the Outer Worlds though like I, I wasn't a fan of the like little maps all connected via like yeah you know, like saves yeah. and stuff that was that was we, we all know why that was <sighs> you know, just for like, yeah Loading. Seriously, just yeah. make. Like, <laughs> you know the words I'm thinking of. Just make a fucking game a third of this size, but make everything. But make everything explorable. Everything has like yeah. things you can do everywhere. That way, you don't have to load in thirty thousand fucking maps every ten minutes. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's the word I was trying to look for. <laughs> I'm glad I got there. English, me do good. <laughs> um, yeah, I think something like that. Uh, Witcher Two was really bad for that. Yeah. Witcher Two was you enter a city or you enter a building. And yeah. it's like a two-minute loading screen sometimes. If, if you had a bad Xbox, it, yeah. it, you, you'd be waiting there for a while. Skyrim is pretty bad for it, too. Skyrim oh, is shocking. You enter Skyrim and you're sitting there like, this is a really cool fucking dragon well, That's why you stop, like... I stop, like... Playing it? Fast travel. Oh, no. Not I fast, fast travel more because I'm like... Just fucking get me just to get the place. Just get this over like, yeah. I fucking... Oh. It's pretty bad when you, when you fucking fast travel everywhere. It's pretty bad when you play a game to play less of the game. Yeah, so like I feel like that should be a good indication of a good open world game. It's where like, like where you want to see new stuff. where you never fucking fast travel. Yeah. Like example, I did not fast travel in Red Dead Redemption Two until I was trophy hunting at the end and I'd finished the story. You can fast travel, <laughs> right? Yeah, that game's <laughs> so much fun. Uh, um, I did that with Days Gone. Yeah. Exactly the same thing. I yeah. um so uh people at home Yeah. Ash convinced me to pop my chair in, got my first platinum. <laughs> it was Days Gone. Um 
like you said earlier, yeah. It, until I was hunting for the platinum, give me this. <laughs> I did not fast travel because that game has such a. It, it's kind of a motorbike thing and everything, and it's just fun to travel around in. Yeah. But I think that's really the main thing we're talking about is it's just so much fun to be in. Yeah. Well, if if like if it's enjoyable to get around and explore the world, then like fast travel. Don't even give them the option. Don't even give them the option. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Three. Oh my god. I don't remember three. That was I years remember ago. being mad at three. <laughs> yeah, That's me right. too. I remember, <laughs> I remember being mad a lot. And I remember uh, getting to the end of the game thinking, did I do all of this for this? Yeah. There are two things in that game. There's a good thing and there's a bad thing. The bad thing is what I'm going to talk about first. <laughs> in that game, you had certain fast travel points where you can only get to them physically. Yeah. Which is, yeah, sort of fair enough. I get that. But yeah. then you had to get... When you did that fast travel point, point you went to another uh, map, mm. which was full of fucking nothing. Yeah. And it was a way station to another, another map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why put that middle fucking thing in there? Just fucking cut the middle. Just cut yeah. that some bitch out. <laughs> I, if I want to go hunting, I'll go hunting on Achilles' property. Right. Like a good little Indian boy. <laughs> The good thing about that game, dude, is speaking of Achilles, Achilles, yeah. what is his name? Um, your your don't mentor, remember. yeah, your mentor. So I played the game very like I'm a I'm a Assassin's Creed fan. Yeah, I don't like this game, but I am going to play all of them because, damn it, that's the kind of dedication I have in life. Yep. <laughs> I can't eat shit. I always eat shit, but that's beside the point. <laughs> don't I, eat just, shit. I, just, yeah, I don't eat shit. Don't eat shit, kids. Don't eat shit. <laughs> I just look the, the alcohol's first thing. kicking in. Yeah. We're talking about eating shit. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I look at when I'm hungry, that's what I'm eating. I'm like, right, all right, oh. that's shit. I guess I'm eating shit. All right, shit down. Yeah, all right, shit down for me. Um, <laughs> oh, I've got the Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> Coronavirus. Ebola. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, we can't say that coming. Never mind. I heard nothing. I don't know what you were about. <laughs> you know that, right? You see, like, a huge bleep in the middle. Beep! <laughs> Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> um, it did a really cool thing of with his mentor. Yeah. Uh, for story reasons, an eight year old game, but spoilers. Eight. It's not all fucking older than that. I don't know. It feels fu- It looks older. It has not aged very well. Um, he dies. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Before he dies, though, you get taken on into his property mm-hmm. uh, for some reason or another. Yeah. Um, but there are a bunch of other people on his property that you can help out with. There's side missions you can do and everything, and you can go through all these people. Yeah, yeah. This stuff. When he dies, mm. if you're like me, who doesn't really care about him... <laughs> Brutal. Yeah, you just like sit by his bed and watch him die, and it's like the first character development Connor has in the entire series. <laughs> it's one of the most touching things he ever does. Yeah. If you play it properly and you're a completionist, mm-hmm. you actually get another completely different ending to just even his little side death story. Yeah, right. Where you see all of these characters that you've helped out randomly. Oh. Gathered around his tombstone, and you actually have a proper funeral for him. Oh, that's nice. It is. It's that. Oh, that's that's sweet. That's, that's nice. really sweet. Which is what we're coming back to the then again of small details in um, open world games that that can um, drastically oh. impact your experience of the game. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, it's, it's just like, yeah, I like nice little things like that. Yeah, the small things. One of my favorite Ooh. things about most games is detail. Yeah. I'm a very detail oriented person. Yeah. So when you look at things like Metro Exodus, like I brought up, brought it up before, you yeah. clean your guns up. <laughs> you clean your guns regularly, or they don't work. Yeah. You start off with a shotgun that has three chambers in it, but it's a revolving shotgun, so you can physically see the three chambers. Yeah. And if you've only got two shells left, you only put in two shells. When you Damn. fire a shot, you can see the chamber go around. Yeah. And you can see an empty chamber. Damn. It's so fucking cool. That's amazing. That small stuff, you can actually... Oh, actually, dude, I love that shit. That's you, so good. It's so good, man. You can check your watch for time. Yeah. You can check your watch for directions and everything. That's right. It's small details like that, mm. that if they just add them into a big open world... Ugh. Makes it just... It mwah, makes it perfect. Mwah. It's that little... T- if you get enough of those small details, it creates such a big picture. Yeah, man. You know, it's kind of like a picture takes a thousand words. If you've got a nice big picture, but you get a shitty thousand fucking words, (laughs) 
it's not going to be very good. But if you packed it with such a high level of small good content, mm. it's going to flush out the picture a yeah. whole lot better. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's why I feel like the the best open world game. Maybe we should just make one. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I'll know how to code. Yeah, how to yeah. Code. Smaller map, st I'll still like still a big map. Yeah, but just yeah. compared to like this or fucking Assassin's Creed, nothing like that. Like, nah, nah, nah. Nothing that big. You don't need like, that big. But fucking just fully fleshed out. Imagine everything. I could just go in there and be like, Hey man, what's going on? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Steal this beer. Throw beer at this person, and he's like, "What the fuck?" There's no one there. <laughs> <laughs> I think you scared him. Well, well, kill him. In in that case. Oh, oh, dear lordy, 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 lordy. Um, yeah, yeah. This is this is a small detail that you can do in the side game, but it, in a game that's just mm. off to the side. What's that? What? Oh, that's the guy you're trying to kill. Shoot him in the butt. Stab him in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got red pants now. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Did it burn? No. Fucking. <laughs> yeah. Um. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like we've talked about most of the things we've been talking about. Yeah, we're we're, really about. Yeah, we're, to we're, about. we're onto fucking other random subjects yeah, we're now. We're onto random tangents. <laughs> All right, well, we can fucking wrap it up there. Yeah, I think we'll wrap it up there. Um, Ooh. this has been really fun. We the idea behind this is. It's not really set or yeah. anything, but we have a sort of loose idea of picking a subject yeah. at random. Well, not at random. We obviously know the subject. Yeah, yeah. And just going through the certain ideas about what we have about it. Even, like you said, you asked what my favorite game was at the start yeah. of the episode. We can maybe do that every single time. Yeah, have like a, an ongoing, like, you yeah, know. What, what was your favorite thing? Yeah. Why was your favorite thing? And then explore. Actually, that. well, like something just before we end then, yeah. just speaking of like that. Well, like, what's what's a choice I know we talked about the um the toe and stuff uh, the finger and shit right yeah yeah, yeah 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 what's a choice that like you I don't know like it was a big choice for you in a game that stuck with you or like that stuck with me or like you had trouble picking or like you know oh something. there's been so many um well what's like your favourite choice in a video game my favourite choice in a video game I don't know if that's gonna be an easy thing the easy really is an easy question because yeah. Obviously, we're, we're spoiled for choice when it comes to games that do have these big decisions. You mm. find some games only have one or two big decisions, but when they're big decisions, fuck, yeah, they will mess you up. Um, we've probably already really talked about them, but they haven't. I haven't talked about um, all of them. There was one decision that kind of stuck with me after I played the second season of The Walking Dead. Yeah, it's the last decision you make. Yeah. Uh, how do I explain it? Um. There are two people that fight to the death over a baby. Brutal. It is. <laughs> One person thinks they need to die. What is it? No, they don't think the baby needs to die. Both people want the baby to live, but mm. they have a different idea about how to go about it. Right. And one of them is from the first game. Mm. He's actually my boy. He's my main man, Ken Dog. <laughs> um, so obviously I sided with him and everything. Yeah. And there's a scene at the end of the game where he can live. Right. And if he lives through that fight to the death, he takes you to a settlement with the baby. And they're like, we'll let the baby and the kid in, but we will not let you in. At this stage, you're playing as like a 12-year-old. Right. And you're like, we'll oh, let the right, baby yeah. and the kid in, but we will not let the man in. And Kenny's like, look, I don't care. Just you guys. Yeah. You guys live. You do your thing. <laughs> and... That was one of the moments where it was a timed one. I actually hit the oh. home button. I was like, nah. And oh. I sat there on my couch for about 10 minutes like... that. That is... That's cool. Like, it's a fucking hard choice. That is a fucking hard choice. There's been a lot of ones. Yeah. There's actually one in um, Witcher 3. Yeah. Which is at the very start of the game, you get offered to pay... To um, track down... You, no, let me start again. Yeah. You get offered to get paid to track down... Siri, one of the main characters yeah, in the yeah, game. Yeah. He's he she is your main character's protege. Yeah. She's very important to the game for certain reasons, but the bottom line is you think of her as a daughter and he offers you money to find her. There's a scene in the game where you bring her to her dad and mm. you can actually accept money in front of her. And it's a it's a lot of money. <laughs> but I'm like no fuck that I wouldn't do that no yeah, no, way. Yeah, yeah. no way no way 
And that affected me in a different way throughout the game. Yeah. It affected the way I obviously had a relationship with the Lord. Oh. Hello. Oh, hello Trevor. Trevor. Can you kill him? Oh. Trevor! I didn't know you couldn't kill him. Why won't you die, Trevor? <laughs> um... There's, so yeah, it, it affects the way you can think of her and him, but that was like a wholesome moment in a different way. It stuck with me because I was... I realised at that point I was like genuinely invested in this character. Yeah, that yeah. before Because um, I played a little bit of The Witcher 2, yeah. and I played the whole of Witcher 3. I got invested in a character where originally I was paid to track them down. Yeah. And I was like, no, I love this character too much. Yeah. I'm not going to get paid to track them down. Yeah, right. Oh, man, that's... That's fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything that, like, sticks with you? Or... Oh, I Too many? I didn't think about it. <laughs> While you were talking, I was listening. <laughs> um, You're actually uh, using good communication. <laughs> Fun fact. Good communication is also about listening, not speaking. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Um, one that stuck with me. Uh... Like, Even though you don't have much choice, I think that's more just a gaming moment that stuck with me though. Yeah. Is in this when the torture scene. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, man. Because that was like that's a different kind of choice because they it was a choice for the game and the developers to not give you a choice yeah. except for how you're going to torture this person, not whether or not you can or can't torture them. Yeah. It's like no 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 we're getting across that torture is bad and uh, you don't have a choice except for how you're going to participate yeah. in this like I like that and that stuck with me and fucked me up for life yeah that would actually there's um because well, like you know it... despite what a lot of people might think about Grave Theft Auto and Rockstar as a company they actually make really deep games but the thing is they hide it under you know, parody and things, but they, they generally have some important messages that they're trying to get on yeah. about society because that's the whole thing. These are parodies of how fucked up the world is. Yeah. Like, and, um, you know, that was just a big thing about like, well, who's the real good or bad people like in this situation, you know, you have these FBI agents or well, fib agents in this. Fib, yeah. Like, torturing this person who probably knows nothing and you're not even sure is the right person like that yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah, yeah absolutely 100 percent. and you're you, just told to torture a guy yeah yeah and like and then there's like a monologue after as well where trevor where tells he's you basically that, like, like torture isn't for the person getting tortured yeah and like it's pretty much proven that anyone will say anything if they're being tortured it doesn't mean it's true. It just means that, like, they'll do... They'll, they'll do say anything, anything to just stop. to make it stop. Like... Yeah. They'll tell you the fucking... That person over there is the person you're looking for. If it means you stop torturing them, doesn't 100%. mean that's the person you're looking for. 100%. But, um... That, that was a, a choice that, like, fucked me up. But it's yeah. not really a choice choice. Um... Uh, we actually came back to it earlier. While you think, oh, I'll, I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. you can ignore me. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. Most people do. My parents do. Um, we talked about it earlier, but I didn't really explain my reaction to it. There was yeah. a scene in Detroit Become Human where you kill a female um, robot. There's not the term for them. They're an android of some kind. Yeah, the androids, bottom, aren't they? Yes, yeah. I don't think they are, but the bottom line is it's not a human. Yeah. And the whole moral decision behind it is do you kill this non-human's life to get the answers you want or do you yeah, value yeah. as a certain human? First someone went through and I was like, no, that's a human. That's Sorry, no, that's living. Yeah. What's wrong with you? The second time I went through, I was thinking... You're just going to treat I'm just going to choose what will happen. I chose yeah. angle and I, and I did. I, I pulled the trigger. Yeah. The reaction and that actually gave me so much grief. It's like the gunshot actually went through my body in real life. Yeah. What yeah. the fuck? I actually haven't played that game since. Because I got the reaction out of it. He said, "There's, I don't know why you came here for no reason. Yeah. So was, he actually doesn't say, I'll answer. I'll tell you why, what's wrong. He uh, more specifically says, I'll answer a question. Yeah. And the yeah. one I chose is is what makes them divergent. Yeah, yeah, from, yeah, yeah. From memory. That's right, because you get to pick you what information pick you want to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of him, and he answers a question for you. And I was just sitting there like, I just killed someone who I obviously previously thought of as alive yeah 
for fucking nothing. And then Hank goes off at me. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to cry. Oh, man. Yeah. I try to remember. There was like um, uh, a moment in... Oh, what game was that? Uh, you guys said Life is Strange? No, I haven't played that. Because that is also a good one. Yeah, I never played the Life is Strange Dave games. Dave Bay, everyone. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh I guess the Megaton one's one that's always stuck with me, yeah. just because that's such a big thing. Like, um, you're committing a small amount of genocide. Yeah, but like, it's just I haven't seen many games that give you the option to blow up a major city. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, hundred like, percent. And like that place is now gone from the map. It's just... <laughs> like it's Bye. Just, yeah and like you know you can watch it from the distance and stay in a really cool hotel and be like wow worth Ooh. it or you know keep the settlement so you can buy shit there so you can you know, have a functioning society to go back yeah. to yeah like oh man fuck though like even though it's not like another like it's not choice super choice based but you make the choice to do it I suppose uh, in Fallout 3 as well that this is something that stuck with me for different reasons yeah there's like a fam- that family that you can come across that um, uh, essentially like want to invite you in and they're talking about like how their village is like best best village in the like of the year or something okay. all this and yeah you talk to them and stuff and try to get information out of them and, and stuff but essentially they try to make you to come in and have dinner with them and um if you snoop and stuff or find out they're actually cannibals and Ah, they have people down in their basement cut up and like yeah and it's just like such a little thing that like well I'm pretty sure yeah so um I know a similar moment happens in Red Dead Redemption 2 yeah right where like um oh you go to that I know that that yeah right the couple But, but the thing is I'm pretty sure the outcome's the same pretty well of whatever you do in Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah. I can't remember, but I feel like it is. In Fallout 3, you only discover that they're cannibals if you... Like, you can tell something's off about them by the way they're talking. Yeah. Um, They're very happy and, like, very excited to get you to come in and stuff. Yeah. But you can get out of that whole thing just willy nilly and lovely people yeah and never know any different like you can eat with them and stuff and never know that they're cannibals yeah and get out of it like or whatever and just go about your business or you could be like ah I'm just gonna fucking kill them like cause yeah. they're, they're creepy or like and never know like it's just uh, creepy things like that but then I'm pretty sure if you go down into the basement then the dad like the husband like, approaches you yeah. and he's like well what? now that you know our little secret like, we're gonna have to kill dad. you yeah yeah, yeah. like so, so that so was like such a, cool... such an in depth thing that was hidden away yeah corner. it's like you went to this little random house on this random street in the game and you got that you were rewarded for exploring and then I was rewarded further for exploring <laughs> and, <laughs> and then, then you got a second reward yeah which is death <laughs> so yeah I mean that, that was something that's, that yeah. stuck with me that's pretty cool yeah Fallout for games they, they got their fucking bonuses they, they, they do they, 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 have, they do their things right they do some things they right they do some things right I think a lot of games pretty much most games have something that they do they right got something unless, they're, unless they're a huge fucking trash pile. yeah well anyway guys yeah. we better fucking wrap that up wrap you've up, listened man. to us ramble for some time now I think it's been like nearly two hours good <laughs> yeah well I might split this into two episodes then or yeah. something like well, that well do whatever you need to man yeah you're editing alright guys thank you again thank like you. and subscribe if you want to see more of this shit uh, and thank you again to Adam for coming on the show thank you for having me yeah.